Hey everybody, so this is going to be the next video in my mom makeup series and if you haven't been following along, basically I started off with a look that took me basically no time, maybe two minutes to do, and then the next tutorial I did took me about five minutes to do my makeup and this is going to be what I would do if I had 10 minutes to do my makeup. So I will link those all down below if you want to check them out. They kind of progress on one another. So each time I do it, I add a couple more steps. So this is going to be the 10 minute one. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like these type of videos so that I know to do more and subscribe if you're new. So I'm going to start off with foundation. Now, to be honest, in everyday life, I usually use a BB cream unless it's something I don't know, extra fancy, but for the purpose of this kind of progression series video, since last time I did a BB cream, the time before tinted moisturizer, I'm going to do a foundation. So I'm using the CoverGirl Ready Set, Ready Set Gorgeous in shade 115. And um, I used to use my beauty blender to apply foundation or even a brush, but you know what? Fingers are just really easy and I find faster and I find it it just looks more natural because I can rub it into my fingers and then I can really rub it into my face and make sure it's all blended in. I can get in all those tight areas around my nose and I just feel like it looks more natural. So I'm going to go ahead and rub a layer of this in. I feel like this shade is a tad too light for me at the moment, but it's okay because I'm going to be adding bronzer. My lips are really chapped so I'm just going to throw on a chapstick. And you know what, this really helps when you put on lipstick or whatever lip product after the fact if you have moisturized lips underneath. So, I'm quickly doing that. Then just like the five minute video, I'm grabbing my concealer. This is the Sephora Gel Serum Concealer. It's very lightweight, it's very high coverage, and it doesn't crease. So, I'm going to place some in a triangle under both eyes. I'm also going to place some down the nose, between my eyebrows, and on the base of my chin just to highlight my face. This is one area where I do want to use a beauty blender because if I were to try and blend this all in with my finger, it would just take forever. And even a brush would take a lot longer than the beauty blender. Like as you saw, it's already blended in. So I'm just going to quickly dab this in all those areas. While those cream products are setting a little bit, I don't like to do powder right away. I'm going to do my eyebrows. This is the Anastasia Brow Pomade. It's a bit pricey, but honestly, it's an amazing product. I love it so much. I didn't have time for it in my two minute or five minute video, but with 10 minutes, I definitely have time now. I'm just using an angled brush, picking up some of that product and running it through my eyebrows. Now I'm gonna take this Chella Eyebrow Defining Gel. I haven't been doing this, but you know what? It takes me like five, 10 seconds and I just feel like it sets everything down really nicely. And if I had any lines that weren't very blended, I can just quickly take this little comb brush and blend it all through. Moving on to powder, you guys know I always use the NARS powder use whatever powder you like but it just helps to take the shine away from any product that you were using on your face and help your makeup set and last all day so I'm just quickly with a big brush putting that all over my face now since I have 10 minutes I thought I would show you a separate bronzer blush and highlight instead of doing kind of combination products I'm gonna start with bronzer again using the contour shade from the Smashbox palette but whatever bronzer you have will work just fine just focusing underneath my cheekbone here and then I'm going to do up at the top of my forehead near the um, hairline just like before in my five minute video whatever I have left down the side of my nose and just under my jawline. It just helps to define the shape of the face. For blush, I'm going to use the Instain blush from the Balm. This is in the color Argyle, and you know what? This is actually a powder, but it also stains your cheeks. So if you have, if you find that your blush kind of wears off halfway through the day, this is a really cool product. And you use it just like a powder. So you dust them on your brush, kind of shake it off, and then lightly put some wherever you put blush. So whether that's on the apples of your cheeks or dragging it back towards the back of your face. Gonna blend that in. And last face product is also going to be a highlighter. This is obviously optional, but I had 10 minutes, so I thought I would show you. This one's from the Balm, it's the Mary Luminizer. It's very, very intense, so you need to be very careful. I'm just putting a tiny bit on my fan brush, shaking it off, and then I'm going to dust it right on the tops of my cheekbones, and then kind of up here by the corner of my eye. I'm also going to put a little bit down to bridge my nose, and on my cupid's bow and I'll do that on both sides so you can see the glow that that's created now that's not for everybody but if you're into having glowing cheeks then definitely check out this product because 
It is very glowy. Before I zoom you in for my eyes, I'm going to show you my lips. I will be using lipstick this time instead of a tinted lip balm, which I was loving. But I wanted to show you lipstick. This one is Jennifer Nude. Jennifer's Nude from the JLo collection. This is L'Oreal. It's just like a very basic pinky nude shade and it goes well with everything. So I'm going to quickly throw that on. Very neutral, very wearable. Okay, so since I have 10 minutes, I'm going to play around with eyeshadow, which I didn't do in the past. I decided to use the Naked Basics palette because it's, it's a very compact, tiny palette. I feel like a lot of people might have this. Mostly matte shades, it's like it says, it's very basic. So I'm going to pick up a flat eyeshadow brush and I'm going to take the shade Walk of Shame, which is just a neutral kind of beige color. I'm sure you could find this color in any palette. What I'm going to do, since I didn't powder my eyelids when I was putting on the face powder, I'm going to take this shade and put it all over my eyelids. And I'm going to do that right from the base right up to my eyebrow. And the reason that is is because I'm actually going to put a darker shade in the crease. And I feel like if I have this down first, not only is it a nice lid color, and I can blend it up more on the lid, but it makes the darker shade in the crease blend out easier because you already have a layer of eyeshadow down. And it also highlights up here because you're placing it all the way up to the eyebrow. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that from bottom to top. Now that I have a nice blank canvas, I'm going to take the shade next to it, which is Naked 2, which is kind of a light taupey-ish brown. I'm going to be using a big fluffy brush, dusting it off, that's what it looks like there. And all I'm going to do is sweep this in my crease. This is not going to be a complicated eyeshadow tutorial. It's basically just the two colors. I might add a little highlight color, but it's just basically giving the eyes some depth, framing the eye, and making everything look a little bit more put together. So I'm focusing most of it here on the outside of my crease and kind of blending upwards, but I did drag a little bit into the middle as well. And I'm just going to go ahead and blend this until it looks seamless. So whatever's left on my brush, I'm also going to just quickly drag under my eye from the outside corner to about halfway. And again, that's going to do the same thing, just to find the eyes a little bit more. I feel like I lost a bit of the color on the lid from all that blending, so I'm just going to take that same light neutral color and just pack it back onto the lid again just to brighten things up. And lastly, if you have time, you can take any shimmery shade. There is a shimmery one here called Venus, and I'm just going to take a finer tip brush. I'm going to place some in the inside tear duct corner of my eyes here and I'm also going to place some underneath my eyebrow really quickly just to highlight up here. Alright so that's it for eyeshadow. That's what it looks like. Very basic but definitely brings a lot to the eyes. I'm going to move on to eyeliner. Again use any eyeliner, eyeliner that you feel comfortable with. With 10 minutes you should have time, a little bit more time to experiment with eyeliner. So I'm going to use a felt tip. This is the Stila one. I feel like it works really well for me. And I'm just going to line the top of my lids and then create a bit of a cat eye wing on the end because that's just typically what I do for my own makeup look. So I'm curling my eyelashes and then I'm going to apply mascara and that is it. Alright, so that is the finished look. Um, basically what I added was eyeshadow, foundation, lipstick, and highlighter. Those are probably the things I expanded on. In this one, I'll come in close so that you can see it. So it's still very neutral, very, very wearable. Um, my next video is going to be what I would do for date night. Now obviously there's a ton of different makeup looks and tutorials that I do and that I've done on this channel, but what I'm going to do is take this exact look and just make it more nighttime appropriate. So make it a little bit smokier, a little bit darker, a little bit more defined. So that'll be the next video in this series. I hope you guys enjoy and thank you so much for watching. Bye!